Hi guys, Brooklyn, and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, thank you so, so much for stopping by. I make videos twice a week, so on Tuesday and on Fridays. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so, so much for continued love and support of my channel. And I'm really hoping you're enjoying my content. As my phone goes off, I'm just going to talk to you about my... Well, I'm going to tell you this review. Here we go again, going off track. So I'm going to talk about this mine tan, absolute 40 tan, like it's a dark, dark tan. This is meant to be one of their darkest like tan emissions on the market. They do have a couple of ones that are darker. And I do believe they have absolute times 60 and absolute times 100. But if this can give me absolute dark results, like God knows what the absolute 100 could do to my skin. Uh, I'm actually going to get it once to like, use up quite a few of the tans because I've got quite a lot sitting around like half these bottles waiting for me to review and just kind of use up before I buy more tan. I'm just telling myself, Brooklyn, you have enough tan. You need to get it all used up. Well, not all, but like a good couple of bottles before you even think about buying a new bottle to review. Calm down, girl. Literally calm down. <laughs> so before I ramble on and just for you all to death, I'm going to go into this review. So... This is meant to be about, I think it's like £20 or something like that, £22. It's a bit more expensive than their, like, you know, their kind of based ones, like their coconut one, their classic, their caco, all them types. I think this one's a bit more expensive. But, see if you get it in savers. I got for like £7 in savers. I know, yes. So if you have a savers near you, look for this tan, and I would definitely get it to pick it up. Definitely. I've got like a use of half the bottle, but. Not only me, because I'm tans on our people, so I'm mean, just tan on our people, so this kind of like our people use it up this is, as well as me, but you know what I mean? I've kind of like went for it quite well. So the guy color is quite dark, it is a dark, dark guy color. I have it on now, like I didn't, I thought to get a clip of it, me kind of shine, like not shine off, but when the color is, but it's shine off, but it's probably somewhere less, it's quite dark. I've had it on for a few hours, like developing, so it will get darker. And then I think you kind of, I think you kind of get this around this color anyway when it washes off. It'll be darker, just depends on your skin tone. But my phone always goes off every time I'm filming. It's always away. <laughs> Sorry about my life, but I'm naturally an NC10 and Max. So what is it? Like pale. I'm a pale girl. I am literally a pale girl. So, for a tan to get me from pale to like this, obviously, I've got a couple of layers now, like that's why it looks so dark because I didn't have tan on before, but I scrubbed like quite a bit of it off and I applied another layer on. So, it won't go as dark the first time you use it if you're like really, really pale like me, but it does give you quite decent dark results. So, it is good. The guy colour, you know, the way you can get some guy colours, it just looks tricky before you wash it off. This one isn't it. It is quite wearable. It is a nice wearable golden bronze, like not too warm guide colour. And it does look kind of like a slightly natural look, but it is dark, dark, dark. But foundation's kind of going a bit light now. I think it's developed as, like, it's developed a sense of applying the makeup, just set like that. But it is quite like a nice kind of tan. I love it. It is one of my favourites. So. The wearability of this, it does quite work quite well. I would say a decent couple of few days, like about three or four days, I can get out of this. Obviously, I had to scrub my hands off every couple of days. Like, I just would apply a new layer, like, every two to three days, I'd scrub off that previous tan as much as I can. But, I don't really wear a tan, just know the same, like, batch of tan I put it on my body one week and then wear it into that week. I like to kind of, like, exfoliate and scrub it off and apply another layer, like, twice a week, do you know what I mean? If I'm making any sense at all, hopefully you can understand me if you can, you deserve a gold star. <laughs> but yeah, it is decent wear time, it doesn't go patchy, it doesn't, unless like obviously we leave it, no exfoliate, it any time will go patchy, do you know what I mean? But this one doesn't, it doesn't have the tendency to go patchy like some can so, but I do recommend moisturising your skin, but it doesn't dry your skin out. I've had like other tans do dry your skin out more, and you have to like really keep on top of moisturising and exfoliating your skin because some tans just do dry your skin out and make it look all kind of 
crack, not crack, but I kind of like that scaly look, which is nice. This one doesn't really do as much, but definitely, I would definitely recommend exfoliating moisturising with any tan you use. Do you know what I mean? It's just a really fun when you have nudes and tan. But yeah. So before I apply my tan, obviously I exfoliate as I said before, but I moisturise with this. Um, it's a Palmer's Cocoa Butter Coconut Oil. It's a summer moisturiser. I love it. It's amazing. I need to get a new bottle so I'm not allowed to it. But this, I just moisturise with dry areas like my feet, my knees, my elbows, like underneath, like here. And then armpits because I kind of collect tan underneath there. Obviously my neck, my face with that too because it's it moisturising my skin really nice and well. And you may think, why are you using a body moisturiser on your face? It doesn't break me out. It actually doesn't break me out. It actually does do a good job moisturising my body as well as my face. Now if you have hypersensitive, like really, really sensitive skin, I recommend Patch Tesla, but it should be fine. Because palm cocoa butter is quite good for sensitive skin anyway, so I would recommend to like, obviously use it as, like, try it out in your own, but like, I would definitely recommend it, like, on any skin type, unless you have really oily skin, use it like a lighter moisturiser. But it is quite good, especially if you've got really dry skin. So, yeah, so do that. And then I, like, use my Be Bold Hannah Mitt. It's the best mitt ever. It's, like, the one with the foam on it. And it's, it's nice and velvety. And I just, three pumps on my lower legs, like, each one. Four pumps on my thighs. And then a couple of pumps around my stomach to the back. Obviously, I have left over tan from, like, the legs. I do kind of like my back. Because I've lost over free stone, like I can reach my back and all area like much better than what I did before. Like I had to get someone to do my back before and I, I can just do it myself, which is amazing. And I do three pumps on either side of my chest, which may seem like, whoa, that's a lot. But tan doesn't really cling, well, not cling, doesn't really stick as well to my chest as it does on the rest of my body. So I'll do like the plaster on there and then do about two to three pumps on each arm and then just what's ever left over on my hands and then sometimes I just whatever's left over on the mitt do my face and like blend it around my neck and my ears and stuff like that but I didn't use any of my face this time I used my is that ca cameras? Palmer's Cocoa Butter I've got a review on this on my channel already it's sister Gradle Hammer and it's amazing I used about half a pump of that on my face and my neck today so instead of using this because I was putting makeup on straight after so so I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it didn't ramble on too much, which it probably did, you know what I mean? And stay tuned for the next one. Stay gorgeous. Bye.